Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can parse the arguments that were assigned to your Python script. So if you start developing in Python, at first you if you proceed like me, I proceeded when I got started with this uh, programming language, you may see that uh, if you write a script that uh, doesn't accept any arguments, that script might become obsolete very fast. Because arguments allow you to, let's say, invoke different workflows based on their values. And um, <coughs> at first, you might come to the conclusion that the sys module has an rv attribute. So, let's see how this goes. If I call the simple demo.py, what we will see is an array, and this array is going to hold the arguments that were assigned to that specific script. So, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, the first argument is always the name of the script. So that might be used for, let's say, some kind of sanity checking to see if the script is called what it is supposed to be called, but never mind. So what happens if you would like to, let's say, check if the script got the appropriate arguments? What you could do is check if the length of the sys.argv is equal to the number of arguments that you are expecting. So in this case, if I want to, let's say, have two numbers as arguments, what I would write here is three, because the first argument is always the name of the script. So if I got the right number of arguments, I would say good to go. Otherwise, I would say not enough arguments. But what happens if you would like to, let's say, specify a list of integers? Or what happens if you want to have named arguments? So stating that this is a to be summed and a list of integers is going to be the input to this argument and that input uh, will give me the sum of these numbers as a result. And uh, this gets uh, kind of tricky. You could solve it with the sys module and the argv and that it is perfectly fine to use this module for argument parsing. But if you want something more robust and sophisticated, I think I have the, let's say, right module for you. So the other uh, module is called argparse. And this argparse is going to have an argument parser class. And uh, this can be called this way. So argument parser, and you can specify it a description. So this is a demo for the R parse module. Now, if I would like, I can assign arguments uh, to this, let's say, class. And what I would do is to call the add argument and this other argument accepts uh, many arguments. <laughs> so the first one is going to be, let's say, the to be summed. It is going to be a type of int. The n args is going to be equal to plus. And the help message that comes with it is going to be, let's say, the list of integers. And if I uh, want to tell the arc parser that these, this is an argument that I expect and to behave it accordingly, what I would do is call the following. So argument equal to parser.parse arcs. 
And now, if I print the arguments, I can see the following. So, argument parser py. You can see that the to be summed argument is currently having a value of none. So, to be summed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And as you can see now, I have this list assigned. So what I could do is the following. I could say that the sum of the list is, and I do it with the format string, and I just simply call the sum on the argument that to be summed. And now, if I run this script again, what I can see is that the sum of these numbers is 21. So um, I, I hope you, you get the, the notion that, that this allows you uh, more fine-tuned uh, argument handling in your Python scripts. And uh, <clears throat> what we could do is check if the arguments that to be summed exist and then we return the sum of the list is. Otherwise, what we would do is, let's say, parser.print help. And this should result in a help message based on the description, the specified type, and so on of the script that we are using. So now you can see that I called this script without any argument. And that way, you can see that this is uh, what I get. So there is the description, there is the optional arguments, and here I can see that this is the to be summed, and the help message that this is a list of integers. What you could also do is to define a meta variable. And this meta variable is going to be used when uh, the aquas is rendering your print help. So if I say that this is an int list in the meta var, what I get is that it replaces the by default uh, argument name with the specified meta var name. And I think it's a kind of a neat thing to use. Other, and uh, there are many ways uh, that you can uh, configure your specific arguments, you can specify uh, mandatory arguments without which the script will not run. You could also specify boolean and other types of arguments, but this was just a kind of a demo to get you started in the right direction if you ever want to let's say, use arguments in your Python scripts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.